Friday. <laughs> so, today, um, in this stream, I'll be um, setting up to this H from scratch um, on a Debian environment in Windows Subsystem Linux. Uh, so let's just pop open Debian. Yeah, so this is like me doing it from scratch on um, WSL. I'm going to have to go into WSL2, so I'm going to have to open up a PowerShell admin window here. Um, and small I better put in better put in my user details here first. I don't think I can do anything else without it. So that's done. And then um let's open PowerShell. And in PowerShell <clears throat> um so I can list out what versions I have. I've got a few versions installed. Um, but you see uh, Debian is here and this is version one. And I need to change that to version two. So I can do that with uh, WSL set version. And let's put Debian to two. And then that will, yeah, will kill this off. So I can close that. And it's usually quite quick. There you go. Right. I don't need that anymore, I don't think. So I can open up my Windows terminal. And uh, this defaults to uh, Ubuntu 20. So that's what I'm using at the moment. But I'm going to do this for Debian. This is um, a super clean install of Debian. And how do I do the... Um, there we go. Right. So that's my machine name. And that's my the path it's picked out for me in Windows. I need to change that to um, like a local one, like Squiggle, Hildy. Oh, I'm in Bash as well, so I need to I need to install ZSH completely. So um, I did a guide on it. So the guide is I'm going to put that in the chat. That's the guide, and uh, I'm just basically going to follow that. So, 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 so. Um, right, I think with Debian as well, there's a lot of other things which don't come out of the packet. Out of the packet, <laughs> out of the box. <laughs> um, those things are. Um, like build essentials, git, curl, and what else is it? What else is it? Other stuff as well. So um, I'm actually I'm going to follow through this guide here, which I'm also going to share. Um, that is just setting up GUIs, graphical user interfaces for Windows Subsystem Linux. I've done that several times. Um, so I'm just going to get out some of the uh, copy past to some of the updates we need to do. So first of all, we need to update all the things. Yes, we need my super secret password. Mm -hmm. uh, so, hopefully I don't get too distracted this morning. It's just gone half past six here in the UK in in the morning. So I'm um, hoping I'm not going to get too distracted today. Right, so that's done. So I um, need to install git curl. Because um, I need curl for the ZSH stuff. And git um, to install git stuff. I'm probably going to need to do my SSH files as well. So let's just open up my explorer. Find my SSH files. 
which are, where are they? In here. So I used to sim link these, but um, I've just found it a lot quicker now just to save my file system somewhere and then use explorer.exe, which is a new WSL2 feature, I think, and just paste them in there and then change the file permissions, which is what I'm going to do. Right, so that's that done. Um, so let's just go over what I've done in here already. Um, so literally, uh, update all the things, add, build essential, and uh, gear and curl. So I'm going to need them for installing the um, the bits for. Uh, like the ZSH themes, um, and obviously I'm going to need ZSH as well. So let's get that installed. Um, so that's again sudo app install ZSH, and then the dash Y is just to. Um, so if I do it like this, it's going to say, "Do you want to do you want to continue?" And the dash Y is just to say, yes, I want to continue before you get prompted. So that's installed. Right. Now I want to change my default shell. So you could do it with CS, CHSH, change shell. Um, and the S is to save it. So if we just do it like this, uh, it's going to prompt me. And then it wants the, the path location. So I'm just going to hit cancel for that and I'm just going to put in this so basically which shell that's a it's putting that in as a variable but it's just a path so that is basically to send that to um, use it being as ZSH um, and then finally I want to use curl so I'm just copy pasting these from my guide I did the other day um, I'm going to use curl here to install OMRS of this H um, and then this sets it as default as well so um, do you want to change your default shield to ZSH uh, so the Y is capitalized so I'll just hit enter put in my password again SKR ahoy and um, that's it I'm using ZSH Um, I want to I want to install some other things as well. Um, so um, I want to get NVM for Node installed, and uh, I want to get Yarn installed as well. Um, so let's just copy paste some more things. Uh, NVM. Let's just um. Check out the ZSHRC file though. So do nano tilde dot ZSHRC, and then this is the the config for ZSH. This is the current theme, Robbie Russell. Thanks for following me on Twitter as well, by the way, Robbie Russell. Um, and um, to, I'll be brutally honest, I've not been through a great deal of these settings. I've just gone with the defaults and then added stuff in as I've needed it. So uh, one thing I will be doing is this plugins here. Um, so I'll, I'll be taking a lot from the standard plugins list on uh, ZSH here. Yeah? Um, I'm not sure if I can actually take a look at that in another terminal. Um, see what's in here. There's a, there's a fair few. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go with um, uh, a lot of ones which have been picked out for me by um, Nikki Muleman, who's done some great content on this and um, has literally spawned the, um, the the last sort of two, two or three posts I've made on my blog. Um, Yeah, it's good content. Thank you so much, Nikki. Um, anyway, I'm going to install NVM. 
so I need to close this file. Um, so NVM I'm putting in uh, next. So the NVM command here, you can take this straight from uh, Stoked Up Browser. From the instructions, but in here, this um, this presumes you're using Bash, and I'm in um, I'm in this ZSH shell here, so I use ZSH there, and then um, that means that these these variables um, get put into your ZSH file. So let's check out the ZSH file again. Scroll you all to the bottom, and then you see these have appeared here. Um, Cool. What else do I want to do? Um, I need to source this file now. Squiggle or slash. So let's say HRC. Right. So, um, we should be able to do. What is it? We need to do command. Command.nvm. Verify the installation. Oop. There we go. And then we need to install install the things. Uh, so I'm not going to do NVM install node because the, I believe that installs 15, uh, and I want to install 14. Fourteen's LTS, I think, and then this will be set as the default. Mm. Coffee's getting cold. Okay, um, so just as a side note, if you want to change your default version of Node after this, um, you can use NVM alias, and then default it to fifteen ten whatever. All right, so um, got NVM, got Node. Um, let's just source this file again. Let's check my Node version and uh, NPM version. Cool, 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 cool. Right, I'm going to install Yarn now. And um, this involves adding a key. And then Um, what is this? This is like adding the package, I guess. So you can then um, sudo app install it, which I'm going to do with that. So that is again update, then install the yarn, and then I'm just defaulting it to yes. Cool, 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 cool. Um, Force the file again, and then yarn, yarn version. Cool. Right. Um. All right. Let's add a starting directory. It's down here. And that's going to be cd the repos. The repos doesn't exist yet, so I'm going to create that. McDur repos, and then um, should be a source this file again. Yep, and then we're starting repos. Cool, 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 cool. Say hi in the chat if you've um, come to watch. Um, right. Let's 
sort of, uh, I'm working off of a couple of um, my own documents here now. Right. Um, I'm not sure if I can just git clone. So, um, I'm working off of this. I was at this H notes, which I made the other day. And um, I'm going to put in some plugins and do auto suggest very shortly. First up, I want to. Right, so, um, excuse me, scrolling through this super fast. So, this is just Git clone. I'm not sure if I need my SSH keys just yet. through the checklist I set out for myself. Plugins, syntax highlighting, auto suggestions, themes, spaceship, power level 200, abbreviations, right so not actually got to any of this yet. Um, right, sod it. I'm going to put in git my SSH keys. So in this terminal, uh, exe. Yeah, it's a bit funny this sometimes, this explorer. Um, let's open up another Debian window. Boop, boop. So these shells, these are all the same ones now. Let's just make this bigger. Um, and right, okay, it's there now. Cool. So that has just popped open a Windows um, Explorer. And then this is like the WSL partition, or whatever it is, on whatever um, our virtual layer it's made on my machine. And then I'm in the repos, and I, uh, if you look here, this is my home directory. It was an SHRC file, and I'm going to put in my uh, SSH keys here and my git config. And then I'm going to set permissions on them. Um, So that's with chmod. Um, I need to change to SSH folder that's just been created. And then, right, 664 for um, the public key and 600 for private one, 664 known hosts. And then uh, 700 on the SSH folder itself. Cool, 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 cool. Um, so I should just be able to SSH minus T get at GitHub. Right, I am now authenticated. Um, Right, Omos SSH installed. Um, right, plugins, 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 plugins. Well, you notice that none of this looks very appealing at the moment. Um, so, why isn't it in my history? Oh, there it is. Right, we can change this with Agnosta. Very popular. And um, write it out, control, oh, I'll put Karnak on. Control O to write out, enter to confirm, control X. It's going to put on Karnak. So you can see the keyboard shortcuts them. Um, what I need to source, and then it should give us the new, there we go. So that's one theme. Um, oh, where's my, I'm going to have to bring, 
this over to this other window here. So I can check stuff off. Um, right, plugins. If anyone's got any tips on how to sort of manage your ZSH file, I'd be keen to um, you know. Right, plugins. So I've got Git, a several um, thing, uh, which are all from. Do, 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 do. Literally just copied all of this. Oop, paste this. Yes. Right, git, node, npm, npx, nvm, and z. Z, Z, I'll call it Z. Um, so I could go and review each one of those individually. I think Z is like fuzzy search. NVM is for using NVM with ZSH. I'm guessing the same for NPX, NPM, Node, and Git. I'm guessing you get added functionality with that. I've just put it in there blindly following uh, Nikki Millman's um, documentation, and it's been working absolutely great for me so far um, let's source that no such file directory home scott z um, what let me just go back to this and refresh this why is this being created Anyway, moving on. No such file directory. Home, Scott. So it's created this for some reason. I don't know why. Right. Um, right, so I've changed it to Eggbuster. So if I, uh, let's clone a repo. going to be all these MDX embed that's SSH clone Oop. in here oh, let's so get clone right so we've got a nice sort of um, uh, Lift here, and it sort of says what branch you're on. Um, branch list, is it? Yep, there we go. So we've got some um, branches to look at as well. Cool. Um, right. So, plugins covered. Right, so next up, ZSX. ZSH syntax highlighting. Um, so let's take a look at the documentation for that. Um, so I've got it here. ZSH syntax highlighting and also auto suggestions. Um, let's just take a look at that quickly. Right, syntax highlighting. What's this? I haven't read this bit. Is that a sim link? Okay, let's do this. Boop. Get to my shell. 
Let's see my shell you go. Excuse me, this. Paste it. Okay. <clears throat> then enable it for the shell which is just sourcing that okay cool so this should now give us syntax highlighting never see all right then it goes green or it's red cool Nice. Right, so um, now on to auto suggestions. And again, let's look at this. So I messed all, I messed all this up the other night and I ended up. <laughs> um, I thought I created a ZSHRC file in um, the current directory and ended up just deleting my actual ZSHRC file. And I was under a bit of time constraints just then evening so i'd say I stop the stream um and walk away in shame um right so am i this is for all our suggestions um so let's clone it and then we have to do add the plugin to the plugins list which i didn't actually did i do that with um Syntax highlighting, I didn't, but it, it seems to do its thing anyway. Okay, so I've cloned it. Um, then add the plugin list to the list of um, ZSH plugins. So it's, um, okay. So I'm using Agnostro as my theme still. Come on to that once I've done this plugin. So, um, oops, <laughs> um, so syntax highlight is not in the plugins list. Does it need to go in there? Must be the last plugin sourced. Plugin manager. Um, I don't know. Just let me um, just do something. Oh, so. Plugins, search themes. Right, let's try this again. Um, 
Okay, so does this need to go in the bottom of... What is energy? We're going down a bit of a rabbit hole now. <clears throat> Oh, it's a plug-in energy, right, okay. Vim pathogen, huh? <laughs> um, um, don't know. <clears throat> Well, I also recommend manual installation over the use of a framework or plugin manager. So this is that's what and that's what Omar's NSH is, isn't it? We start in SH. Right, I've I've been using that in the Yeah, the plugins array. Right. Weird. Okay, let's get it in there. Because it's it looks like the same. Yeah. And I think you're saying this at the end of the plugins are right here. I'm going to go with that. All right, let's write it out. So far. Um. So this H syntax highlighting not found. Why do you do this? Where are my notes? Oh man. It's not found it. Okay. Back to this again. So I did that, right? Uh, did I follow this? Oh my god, I followed the wrong thing. In your ZSH, simply clone the repository and the source scripts, then enable the syntax highlighting, which I did. Uh, oh, so I've done it in the manual way rather than using my ZSH, but. No, that's it. Must be the last plugin source with a plugin manager. Well, I've just done it manually by the looks of it. Right, let's get rid of it. Oops, what source it's got. Away. Right, so. Plugins. That's plugins done, um, but I think um, if I do this again in the future, I will do it with Omar ZSH rather than do it manually, which is this one. Um, cool. So auto suggestions is next, which I have done this way, um, and then this I found. Um, So this should now say, yeah, you can see like the O in nano there is suggesting it, but it's not actually showing anything I've done historically. And um, in the past, that is because, um, all right, that's cool. So that's the syntax highlighting manual sort of install thing. Um, Oh yes. Auto suggestions. There was a variable in here you need to set, which is this highlight style. Um, 
Right, so there's this. Just copy that. Get that in there for now. And then I played about with this to make it a bit more. Source it. There we go. So it's sort of, I think it's just historical stuff. Unlike with fish, where it'll offer up things which it could be, and then you can sort of tab through it. Um, with so the takes you sort of have to up and down arrow through it all. Um, let's just go back to the source one. Yeah, you can sort of up and down arrow and it'll give you historical suggestions, but not stuff which you could do, which I think you can do in fish. Um, but this looks terrible and I think I did it with standout in the past so let's take a look at my notes which are here and um, yeah so let's just copy that this is just to match my cursor oops I should have just edited that there we go to the bottom Rid of all of that and roll that out and then let's source the file again. <laughs> It's all got a nice highlight to match my cursor as well. So my cursor I've done in Windows Terminal. Um, so if I do um, go to the settings here, and I'm sure I've set it in here somewhere. There we go. Um, so this is my, pro my default profile. Put in the cursor color and the cursor shape, and then you can mess about the cursor height as well. Cool, 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 cool. Right, themes. Themes, themes, themes. Um, right, plug in some themes. Start locations, abbreviations, a spaceship. Right, Space Fish is the one I really like from Oh My Fish. And then this is basically the same as Spaceship, which is here, this one. Install. So you can do it by npm or omizsh, which is this. And I need to sim link it, which I didn't do yesterday. Let's go back to my terminal. Let's clone it into my zsh themes, custom themes folder. Which is done. Want to sim link it. Oop. Right, so. Oh, I'll need to set it in um, the ZSH themes variable. Just here. The theme is um, burr, 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 burr. spaceship. Cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> Clear term. 
and uh, it's changed to a repo now and dx in bed and then I've got this nice glyph I've got the branch I'm on um, I think that means I've made a commit that's my node version all looks good let's try yarn install this and uh, while that's installing because that takes forever I'm going to open up another terminal make the font bigger again And then to go back to my checklist. So done spaceship power level 10k. Let's take a quick look at that. Um, then I'll cover abbreviations and then maybe come back to power level 10k. Um, so here it is, power level 10k. Check this out. Get some water. Right, so this is like the super duper terminal shell, sorry. What is it? Theme, it's a theme. Theme, but like there's loads to it. So I like this, I think. Classic stuff. She's got the glyph. I don't really want the how long it took all the time. <clears throat> Does that show you what operating system you're in? Oh, uh, so that looks good quite like this as well this rainbow style is distracting right which one's rainbow style so it's above it it's a lean style I like those classic style mm -hmm. and rainbow style anyway b -b 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 install the recommended font Got Cascadia code, I think, installed in in the terminal here. Let's take another look. Oh, Victor Mono. Victor Mono has got glyphs in it. That's fine. Um, but the recommended font, I think, is nerd font. I think this is just so you can get the glyph, and I know I can get the glyph with um, Victor Mono, because that's what's showing here. Um, anyway, let's carry on with, let's install it and go through some of the config options and then go back to Spaceship, because that's my preferred shell. Anyway, um, let's go, where's the... Was at this age. Clone it. <clears throat> and is that it? And then we've got to set the theme. Let's try it. Really? Is it that straightforward? I don't think it is, but. Comment this out for now. Paste it in there. Write it out. And then see how this is doing over here. Still installing. <clears throat> right. Um, does this look like a diamond or a rotated square? Yes. Does this look like a lock? No. Does this look like new? Right, so which one did I like the look of? I think it's just lean. I think we can configure these later. Um, let's go with rainbow. Um, I'll go with Unicode. <clears throat> Share the current time. Um, let's do a 24 hour format. 
separator angled vertical what's the difference oh I see all oh, right one yep one uh, one well that's sharp instead of blurred prompt tails uh, flat one prompt height two lines it's got to be two lines uh, prompt connection disconnected connected with dots oh solid right okay one uh, prompt frame no frame left all right uh, uh, full two left the frame color I can't see any different colors there lightest light dark darkest what one compact sparse compact concise fluent um, fluent <coughs> Enable transient prompt. Yes. Instant prompt mode. Verbose recommended to go with that. Uh, apply changes, yes. Wow. Okay, so I've got my new mix of beds. Go here. On main, oh, question mark one. So I'm guessing I'm going to need to have. The, uh, the specific fonts installed for this which I don't want to go through now um, that's a bit of configuration for it let's just take a look at some of the other config options now I'm here um, out of the box experience see the table of contents get started right well. Right, so P10K configure. Is this just going to run me through the same thing again? Yeah, it is. Oof. Not over there again, thanks. Alright, um, so it's nice and all, but um, I prefer my um, first spaceship. And uh, you might notice that it's put all of this in here for power level 10k um, in case I want to come back to it I still like a spaceship okie dokie um, what happened now? I should be on my new I should be on my new terminal now sorry back to well that's finished installing um, let's just close that. Make sure on Debian that it is the right theme. Looks like it is. Yep. Cool. Right, let's close that one. Go back to this one. <coughs> Clear this out. Let's make that a bit bigger. Okay. What well, have we got left? Abbreviations. So, um, I like in... Let's just go to... Um, I think this uses fish. Uh, no, it's not that one, is it? It's got it's Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu, here it is. Right, so this is fish, I'm sure of it. Yep. Right, cool. Um, so, uh, in fish, um, there are things like uh, abbreviations, so you can do ABR, ABBR, and then um, I think A is for all, and then this GP is the abbreviation, and then that expands out, it's like a text expander, whoops, and that'll expand out to git push, so upstream origin. So, um, so if I'm in uh, MDX embed, and then I say GP, 
and then hit space it'll expand it out to that so that was like a really good feature I liked in Fisher and um, that was the sort of killer feature um, I wanted in um, that was the sort of killer feature I wanted in ZSH and I found it um, so let's just close fish So I'm back on ZSH. And let's go to my notes here. And abbreviations. Okay, cool. So this is the video from the guy explaining it. Alright, this one's gonna be on ZSH. But I'm not gonna play it. I'm just gonna post it in the chat. And I'm going to go to his GitHub repo. <clears throat> this. And um, this is it. This is what we need for um, expanding out these, um, these abbreviations here. So let's just take that. Copy pasta. And then put that into my ZSHRC file at the bottom here paste it yep. right so let's just take a quick look at this so these are in there's like VV these are all uppercase M C H so I'm just going to write these out and then uh, exit out of here so what do we want ND or the most recent directory uh, and then H we'll try that so let's source the file it's taking a while Taking a, little, a long time. There we go. Right. So, um, I forgot what the aliases were. ND, wasn't it? <clears throat> and if I hit the spacebar, it'll expand out to that directory. And then what was the other one? Was it V? Was it V? Syntax highlight and saying it wasn't V. Um, right. Uh, L, M. Let's try them. Was it head? H for head, yeah. Right. <clears throat> yeah, because we obviously need to put something before that. So you can sort of start adding in what your abbreviations you want to use. Oh. So there's there's a lot of abbreviations I like to use. And let's go find them in Ubuntu. No in there, because that's not using ZSH, Ubuntu 20.4. And um, they are in Yeah, ZSH aliases. Um, <clears throat> so I've got a fair few in here I like to use. And um, I think this is a good way to do it um, on top of just having an alias. Excuse me. Um, because you actually get to see what it is you're typing in. So NI, let's make this bigger. And I npm install, uh, npm install dev, but then once you've actually put them in, it sort of it expands out so you can see what it is. Because when you're sort of SSHing into a server and you're trying to remember all of the git commands that you've, um, you've always had aliased, uh, sort of comes to bite you in the butt. So, uh, like git commands, 
uh, like Gad, <laughs> uh, Git Branch, stuff like that. Um, sort of when I'm working the server and I can't use an alias, then um, it is good to sort of remind yourself of what they are. Um, anyway, I'm going to create this um, file. So rather than have like this list of however many aliases I've got in here, cluttering up the, um, the, the ZSHRC file here, um, I'm going to take all of these out and then just um, import a file <clears throat> which is going to be um, the dot squiggle I think the dot is to source it and I'm not sure if there's any drawbacks to um, just doing the dot rather than saying source um, but I'm going to use the dot and I'm going to say <coughs> excuse me uh, ZSH aliases, I'm going to need to create that. So I'm just going to exit out of here, write it out, exit, and then make sure I'm in the right directory. And then touch that file. <clears throat> and then in there, I want to jack this file. Um, but copy pasting between shells. Um, doesn't quite work, so I'm just going to actually open up this in VS Code here. Close that, and uh, I'm just going to copy all of those. Copy line empty. What does that mean? Yeah. Okay. Don't save it. Nope. Right, and I'm going to put those into, let's get rid of that, this ZSH aliases file. <clears throat> See, this auto suggest it's just your history, it's not your ZSH. You have to tab, and I think the tab is. A feature of ZSH rather than Omar ZSH or the um, what I suggest. So let's just paste these in here. Yes, we're going to paste them. Mm -hmm. And then write these out and close that. And then go back to uh, source the ZSHRC file. Not open it, Scott. Source it. I'm, I'm guessing it's taking a long time to load now because of that power level 10k. Um, I could try and comment it out and see how it performs now. Hey, Mark. Hey, man. How you doing? I'm playing about with terminals this morning. <clears throat> so this takes a very long time and I'm guessing it's because of that power level 10k so I might just go in here and uh, just comment this out and saying if this I think it's saying if it's active, then load it, but it's not. So I'm not sure why it's taking so long at the moment. <coughs> anyway, MDX in bed. Let's go here. I've got my nice prompt up, and um, I want to do things like yarn, yarn develop. So and then have a hit space. Mm -hmm. Then that should source my files. It's not. Let's try another. Prompt, make this a bit bigger. Right, index in bed. Let's go there. Yarn, yarn develop. Hmm. Yeah, no. 
go back here again. It's because, <clears throat> excuse me, clearing my throat, um, the, the regular expression that's being used in here is for capitals. And I like to use lowercase, so uh, A to Z there. Write it out again. Close it. Source the file. Pause name you. Yeah. Amazon search plugins Z. What is that? That looks worrying. Um, Normal ZSH plugins Z. This is the plugin. This has nothing to do with stuff I've been listening about with. So, what are the plugins? Well, I could just take it out, Z. I don't think I'm going to do that. <clears throat> MDX embed. Yarn, yarn develop. Yeah, yeah, okay. So it's just that regular expression. Um, you like OMI ZSH? Yeah. I've been having fun with it Mark, the last couple of days. And um, um, I, had a, I made a bit of a mess last night. I was a bit of, under a bit of time pressure and um, made a mess with things. So I'm making amends this morning by sort of going through everything I've sort of learnt so far. Um, so anyway, um, text expansion is quite cool, and um, uh, dev not found. Okay, that's because um, npm run. Yeah, I think I'm guessing it's develop, 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 develop. There's loads. There's loads of commands in here. Yeah, develop. Right. Okay. Cool. So, um, I think that's it really. Let's look at what I've covered. Um, where's Twitter? Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. Right, plugins, done that. Did ZSX syntax highlighting, auto suggestions, did themes, spaceship. I don't think I'm going to use power level 10k. Looked at abbreviations, global alias expansions, part of abbreviations. Um, so I think that is it. I've gone from a sort of um, shabby looking shell, not terrible, to an okay ish looking shell now um, it should have this is the thing will also suggest I think that should have put it in there but because it's not in the history it's just auto suggest on the history isn't it let's go back here and do it again yeah it just brings it back from history so it's not auto suggest it's like just showing you what history you've done already along those lines Whereas in fish, it actually sort of tries to guess what's in that path you're coming up with. Anyways, how long have I been streaming for? I've been streaming for a while. <laughs> About an hour and a half, two hours, I think. So um, I'm going to wrap up that. But I think it was quite successful. I got all the things covered I wanted to cover. Um, so yeah that's it thanks for tuning in all uh, all two of you and uh, I'll catch you in the next one cheers bye bye